Here's a nice example of an entity that we're not used to diagnosing on MR and obviously is a diagnosis that we are much more likely to make on an ultrasound. Now, on these MR images, you can see that the gallbladder is clearly abnormal. The gallbladder wall is markedly edematous, it's T2 bright, there's significant wall edema, and notice the presence of multiple T2 hypointense stones. Now you can see that the wall does enhance quite avidly on the post gadolinium images, and there may be some subtle adjacent hyperemia in the liver parenchyma in the gallbladder fossa. Now notice on the T2 weighted images that there's quite a bit of T2 bright edema, not only around the gallbladder, but extending medially. Um, surrounding the gallbladder neck and extending to involve the pancreatic head and duodenum. This is a classic example of acute cholecystitis with significant pericholecystic inflammation. And notice how it's these T2-weighted images with fat saturation that really give you the best sense for how much inflammation there is in the region of the right upper quadrant. So this is a great example of acute cholecystitis. We usually make the diagnosis on an ultrasound, but this is what it looks like on a CT scan.